and Nidorinos, it is King Nido here, and the huge stakes of round eight roll on today as the 10th place Shimuda Keepers host the 9th place Kony Kony Spring, and the Spring is going to start out with Sceptile and Cradle, the Keepers starting out with Braviary and Aerodactyl, and you have to think whoever wins this matchup will move themselves up into the Masters 8, so a lot riding on this, and Aerodactyl immediately starting out with a nuzzle, this won't be very effective on Cradle, but more importantly it has left Cradle paralyzed, so this is huge starting off the matchup, Sceptile with the Tarsh shot will make Braviary weaker to fire type moves as well as lowering its speed stat but Braviary with the defiant ability will get an attack boost remember all home side Pokemon have their hidden ability Braviary immediately goes for a lick after that attack boost good hit there on Sceptile and Cradily on its first turn is unable to move that paralysis has come into effect and now Aerodactyl with the power trip on Cradily not very much damage again and Sceptile now with the Fury Cutter will not be very effective onto Braviary who goes for the foul play. Remember, it's got that boosted attack stats, so a good hit there on Cradily, who goes for a psych up. It is going to look to try and boost its own stats, copying Aerodactyl stat changes. Maybe should have gone for that boosted attack stat change of Braviary. As another not very effective hit onto Cradily. Sceptile with the Thunderfang onto Braviary, though, is super effective. Fantastic hit there, and Braviary will respond with the Weather Ball. Now, both these sides have a 4 and 3 record. They are looking to get that five and three record. They want, both want their fifth win here today, but they've both lost their last two games. Now, Aerodactyl with the play rough onto Sceptile, and Sceptile is eliminated. Taken out of the matchup very early. Rock type Cradily still on the field, as that roar fails due to Cradily's suction cup's ability. And Cradily going for the Hydro Pump. It is going to go for Braviary with that move. Surely should have gone for Aerodactyl and capitalized on that weakness to water type it's still a good hit as a lolan executor with that frisk ability comes out for the coney coney spring does reveal that both pokemon are holding the lipper barrier as they all do in the poke type league aqua jet onto cradily from aerodactyl bravery follows it up with a wood hammer now onto executor not very effective but not bad for the not very effective that recoil damage bravery is able to hold on as executor with the growth here is going to boost its attack and special attack stats and it does have high both 105 and 125 attack and special attack as the parting shot from Cradily on the Aerodactyl will both lower both its offensive stats and out in its place comes Serena Aerodactyl with your aromatic miss now onto Braviary its own teammate it's going to give it a special defensive boost there as Serena with the stuffed cheeks it's going to eat its weapon very nice and early here giving itself a defense boost everyone's getting ready for what seems like it may be a long matchup boosting their stats here Braviary with a mud shot though onto Executor not going to do much damage but not very effective but it is going to succeed in lowering that speed stat of Executor who goes for the conversion two now now with that move Executor will become a Bug type as an Aerodactyl with the roar of time onto Executor. A good time for it to have switched from being a Dragon type Pokemon, and that Blaze Kick will finish Braviary off. Braviary is taken out of this matchup. But yes, that roar of time would have been super effective onto Executor, who is still a Dragon type. That stored power onto Aerodactyl is a great hit there from. Executor, remember, it does have those boosted stats as Aerodactyl has to recharge. Corviknight does come out onto the field and immediately goes for an ally switch, so it will switch places with the Rock Flying type Aerodactyl now. And Executor going for the Gyro Ball. This will be super effective on Aerodactyl, and Aerodactyl is eliminated. Executor doing two fantastic moves in a row. And out in its place comes Charizard now, who immediately goes for a play rough on Serena. Again, if Executor was still a Grass Dragon type, that play rough would have been super effective if it had gone for it. As Charizard avoids that attack from Serena, and it, Serena is immediately hit with a Crush Claw from Corviknight. As Executor with that double edge now onto Corviknight, not very effective on the part Steel type. Although, again, those boosted offensive stats do help it. That Heal Bell, Bell does try from Charizard, but it does fail. Now, Serena with that thrash onto Corviknight. They are trying to chip away at this Steel type here with not very effective attacks. But Corviknight's going to go for the explosion. And it takes itself out of the matchup. The Shimuda Keepers do not need to have more eliminations. It is currently a 3 on 5 battle, but it has taken out Executor, so it's now a 3 on 4 battle. As Hulucha comes onto the field, and Craig Dilly comes back onto the field for the Kony Kony Spring. Hulucha with that Mold Breaker ability. But it might have actually been a really good choice to take out Executor, who seems to be getting more powerful. Bolt Strike from Hulucha. 
onto Cradle. The Cradle is able to tank that hit, but it will only be able to take a few more. And now Charizard going with the Charge Beam. It's also going to be not very effective. And Cradle is able to hold on still. Remember, it's got that Paralysis status condition as well. But Charizard does get a special attack boost. And Serena continues with the Thrash and eliminates Charizard. There is only two Pokemon remaining for the Shimudi Keepers. This Cradle with the Mega Drain is going to get some much needed health taking it from Holuchi. Even though it's not very effective, Cradlin needs all the health it can get right now. As the last Pokemon to the Shimudi Keepers is Dragonite. They are finishing strong. Going with the Pseudo Legendary, that Acid Spray super effective onto Serena, and it is going to level Serena's special defense. Serena is an easy target. Horn Drill, though, it is able to avoid from Dragonite and continues with that Thrash onto Horlucha. This is going to leave Serena confused due to the fatigue of it, though. And Cradlin, again, that Paralysis huge factor in this matchup it is unable to move and holicha with the bug bite on a serena is able to finish it off with that super effective move that's two super effective moves in a row by holicha and dragonite setting up for a rollout this could be dangerous cradily does hold on and is again paralyzed but dragonite is going to look to build some huge momentum with that rollout and now gorgas coming onto the field for the Kony Kony Spring, again, that Frisk ability coming into play, but Holucha now with the Spatial Rend might try to finish Cradily off with that move, and it does. That's two eliminations now. Get, even gets the critical hit. I do not think it needed that, though. Holucha getting too much needed eliminations as Dragonaut continues with the rollout, but he's now in a two-on-two -two battle when everything seemed to be going Kony Kony Spring's way. Gorgeist with the Worry Seed throws it in Dragonite's direction that will change that multi scale ability to Insomnia. I don't know if Dragonite needs to worry though, that rollout momentum is huge, but Abomber Snow comes out with that snow warning. This will cause the hail if Abomber Snow can go for a blizzard, get that same type attack bonus. Paulucha though, with the acupressure, is going to boost that special defense of Dragonite here. Sorry, just the defense, not the special defense, but Dragonite continues to roll out. It's going to go for Abomber Snow, and it's a one hit. Wonder the flying types will not have to worry about the ice type Pokemon. It is already taken out. Gorgeist in a panic is going for the soft board, so it's looking to restore its health. It's surely concerned that that rollout will be coming its way. Maybe that worry seed should have gone in the direction of Gorgeist as every Pokemon on the field takes damage from the Hail Hallucha with the double team. It is going to boost its evasiveness. Almost looks like it's dancing on the field there doing that move. Now Dragonite's going to continue with this rollout, and will it get the elimination? It does! It gets the critical hit as well. Gorgas is taken out, and Horlucha and Dragonite have run away with this for the Shamudi Keepers, giving their so a huge victory. Again, this should surely move them up, and it does. They are sitting in 5th place, moves the Kony Kony Spring down to 10th, unfortunately. The Spring next round will be facing the Homeland Cascade, who are in 9th place now, moving up the leaderboard. Whereas the Shimudu Keepers next round will be facing the Cinnabar Flare, but our next matchup will be a massive matchup because it will be the first place Olivano taking on the third place Pony Canyon Fissure. And if the Fissure can win by at least three Pokemon, they will move up to first place. There is a lot riding on this game. I cannot wait for it. It'll be massive, but until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe, and more importantly, always remember, you are awesome, I'll see you when you see me.